level's called Takedown, and you're you're right along with Soap McTavish and 141, and you're you're trying to flush out this uh, very special character to the story and uh, track him down and extract information from him. So he's embedded in this uh, environment with a, a militia surrounding him. So the thing I think is really unique about the level that we're, we're kind of new to in this game would be going through an environment and having the feeling of early on in the level running to danger and watching all these people run away from it. So you really start to feel like a badass. You're, you're running right to all the fire and the explosions. They're running past you. and. Yeah, at the same time, you're in an environment where there are aggressive, there's aggressive militants like shooting, shooting at you, and you have uh, civilians. You're trying to not take them down. You're, you got to use muzzle, muzzle discipline and choose your targets properly. And you're going through this really hectic environment with you know, things exploding up and all over the place. There's transformers exploding, glasses all over the place. We're not talking about glass enough in this game. We have really good glass. A great glass this time. Very proud of the glass. But you know, we, we really worked hard on making the environment destructive. Uh, you know, things are flying up all over the place, trying to get things to feel really active and dynamic. Weapons in this game are the hero of the show. So we spent a lot of time, the last two years, in fact, just polishing up all. Even if we have a weapon that's a fan favorite from the last game, we went in and polished that up as best we could. Rebuilt it from scratch, actually. Uh, reanimated everything, went in and added parts to the weapons to make them more interesting. We just wanted it to look the part, like look the hero. We spent uh, a lot of time researching how camo, camo paint jobs go into weapons. So if you step into single player, you can expect to see arctic weapons that are weapons that match the environment they're in. And that, that plays into spec ops, it also plays in the multiplayer where you can actually customize the paint job. And it looks way better this time. We really went in and detailed that out. Spec Ops mode, we always wanted to do some co-op, so we took the the the, uh, the gameplay that you saw in Sniper Escape last last game, Modern Warfare One, and expanded on that. So a two-man team, like buddy system, going through a game mode that is entirely separate from single player, just completely different. So it sits on its own as its own. Uh, almost a third game within the box. So you can go through and you can play it solo, you can play it split screen, or you can play it online with a friend. We built on the buddy system and it just seemed to work really well for us. So it's a nice, tight, compact uh, co-op experience that way. And we were able to build missions around that. So like I, like I was saying, it has nothing to do with single player at all. No single player campaign in Spec Ops whatsoever. So with that said, you, you, and a, you and a buddy are just going through these levels that are just tailor-made specific challenges or experiences level by level. The way we designed it was we have these specific challenges built into Spec Ops. So we would usually add in the right arsenal or the right tools to put, you know, put them in the environment. So there's even equipment from multiplayer that will show up in Spec Ops which becomes very, very handy. So I can't mention what they are, but you can look around the environment and you know, strategically work or you know, go in tactically with your buddy and figure things out, create choke points, use the equipment. Uh, and it's made available to the player per level, depending upon what type of experience we're trying to give the player. You don't have to play single player to unlock Spec Ops. You can fire up the game, turn it on day one, and have single player, multiplayer, and Spec Ops all completely available. But as you're going through Spec Ops, uh, day one when you start, you'll need to play a couple of missions to start unlocking pieces of Spec Ops. Now that doesn't mean that if you're playing online and you have a friend that's a little further along in Spec Ops, you can't join them. You'll be able to join them in that level, but you'll have to unlock it on your, you know, uh, progressively with, with a friend. The way the different modes for Spec Ops works, we go regular, there's no recruit. So you have regular hardened and veteran. And the way that would play out, for example, in one level would be you, you, we multiply the amount of enemies you have to kill, or we take time off, you have to finish it in a shorter amount of time. And, you know, there's three, three stars earnable per level. It was very challenging to get the level of dynamic explosions and objects, you know, from, from single player into multiplayer. I know we're playing over the internet and we're trying to, you know, get that stuff across, client side and server side. So it was a challenge, but they, they nailed it. I mean, everything that's in single player is in multiplayer, and it, it adds to this really kick-ass, aggressive-feeling environment where, you know, 
Uh, you've got bullet impacts on the metal, the car you're taking. The cars aren't safe, they explode, but we go a step further. There's other things in the environment that explode as well. So if I'm taking AC-130 fire or Predator drone, you really have to be careful, watch your environment and use it either to your advantage or uh, you know, your disadvantage. You want to get away from those things if you're taking fire.